the menace known as Spider-Man. Now, he's taken various forms, various different, you know, mediums, comics, TV shows, and even movies. But we're not talking about this fucking menace right here, or this one, or hell, even this one. No. We're talking about a special menace. The menace that everybody has seen. And for the niggas who don't read comics, they know about him lurking in the fucking shadows. You're trash, bro. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the goddamn Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, but not just any version of Tobey Maguire, I'm talking about Spider-Man 3. This motherfucker violated so many niggas in that movie and did so many outlandish things it just labels him a menace so we're gonna we're just gonna talk about the shit that this nigga did first violation please so basically mr lover boy here is going to see mj you no know, he was doing some shit he kissed fucking what's her name i don't even fucking remember hold on gwen stacy that's her name he kissed her for for the cover art right for the cover of the front paper didn't mean shit to him he just did it to do it and she was pissed off then harry came over and was like yo rewind harry got his memories back he lost his memories because peter fucking clotheslined that nigga harder than randy orton has ever clotheslined a single person in his life and they were like yeah nah I don't fuck with that. That nigga clotheslined me and made me fall off a building. I'm getting my get back. Harry said, bet, flew over to Mary Jane, pinned her up against the wall, and basically said, yada, 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 break up with that nigga. And then this happened. There's someone else. I fall in love with someone else. Now, this was Cap. Peter didn't know this. Peter was like, what, what the fuck? Falling in love with somebody else. And Harry was like, yeah, bitch. That's what you get for killing my father. The father that never loved him, by the way, just saying. And then Peter said, you know what? All right, fuck all you niggas then. And with like a few days, look at what my nigga was on, bro. Just, just a few things. All he did was change his hair and now this bitch on his dick. She wasn't even fucking with him like in like 30 minutes before. Hey, yo, that boy Spidey just like me though. Look how he walked up out this bitch. He was so good. He was so happy to be tired, to be rid of MJ, bro. She pisses me off. I hate her. I don't hate her, but I don't like her as a character. Look at my nigga. He getting groovy. He getting groovy. And if you think this is the end of her violation, my nigga, it gets worse for her. Look at this shit. He pulled up to her job. Peter? Yeah, this nigga is playing the piano to show her up right now. And he did a hell of a good job. He embarrassed the fuck out of her. Long story short, she got upset and then this happened. That nigga hit her so hard with that fucking backhand, he gave Slick back a run for his money. God damn. That bitch got violated. Oh, bro, after that, we got one of the hardest fucking scenes in goddamn history of superhero movies my nigga look at this shit look at this shit you know what you you know what matter of fact editor yo bring this shit back All right. bring this scene back right, slow you. this bitch got, down i got, got a perfect got idea yo is this nigga opium hey close enough tell that bitch nigga to drop an album all right, on to a miniature violation. Now, I couldn't find a picture of bro, so I didn't even put it up there with the rest of them. But Pete did this nigga bad, bro. Rand, not now. This is a free country. It's not rent-free country. Leave me alone. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door. Like, damn, Pete, bro just wanted his fucking rent money. You owe him. Pay the man. That bitch got violated. Now on to our next and probably worst violation, Sandman. In this whole fight, this nigga got dick dirty. 
He stood no chance against this nigga. Pete was angry. Pete had hate in his voice. What peep this? What type of man do you know kicks a nigga like this? This nigga is a menace. Look at this shit. And then look at what he does to him afterwards, bro. He's not done. He's finna put bro into a pack. Look at this shit. Damn. Look at it. He is violating, bro. This is a fucking violation. I need I say more. I don't even have to show the rest of the fight. There's only one thing I want to show you afterwards. Good riddance. My nigga, did y'all hear the tone in that bro's in bro's voice? That was pure hatred. Good riddance. Nigga sound like he just nigga sounds like an Italian mob boss who just got rid of their biggest enemy. Next violation. Now this may be a miniature violation, but it's still one of the reasons why this nigga Eddie hates fucking Peter Parker so much. Look at what Pete did to bro. Look at this shit. Just Pete. Wow shit. This is exactly what I need to scoop Parker. Give me uh give me some of that web action. See ya chump. <laughs> Every time I hear the see a chump line, that shit is <laughs> just so fucking funny. Oh my god. Eddie got violated multiple times. Another time, Pete exposed him for taking fake pictures. And Pete stole Gwen Stacy, so bro was a little aggro. But that's not the last violation. Our last violation for the day is Harry Osborne getting the dog shit beat out of him very badly. Uh, yeah, let's get into that. So at this very time, Pete found out that Mary Jane and Harry kissed each other while they were still dating. I don't even remember if he knew that he had something against her, that he was that like, he was like, if you don't do this, I'm gonna kill you or whatever. But Pete pulled up and was on bad timing, words to everything I fucking love. Just watch this fucking, just, just watch what this nigga does to him, bro. Like, golly, bro, hit that man with the meanest kick of all time, but it gets worse, bro. It gets worse. He keeps violating, bro. Look at this. Just peep. My God, is he okay? That's like the second time that nigga has hit his head that hard. And then this shit happens. It gets worse. Peep, what the fuck this nigga Pete does to this nigga, bro? Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. <gasps> you see what I mean, bro? He knocked that nigga the fuck. He laid that nigga out. What's wrong with little Goblin Jr.? You gonna cry? Like, damn, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. Blew this nigga up and then walked away like it was normal. Alright man, it's been your boy Jay. I'm finna peace the fuck out. I hope y'all niggas enjoyed the video. Uh if you want more shit like this, I can keep them coming because I don't mind. I like doing them. They're funny. I like rewatching the old shit and then giving my opinion on them and just commenting on funny shit. It's been your boy Jay. I see y'all motherfuckers when I see y'all niggas. Peace.